In the grand expanse of our dominion, our influence too grows. With each passing day, a greater number of elven warriors and skilled craftsmen forsake the sanctum of Imladris, pledging their undying loyalty to our noble lord Myrnil of the House of Feanor. This burgeoning force, bolstered by the steadfast support of the Dwarves of Hazadum, now finds itself poised to embark upon a fateful campaign against our adversaries in the south. Far too long have the Wildmen of Dunland vexed our lands, and far too long have they laid claim to territories that are ours by right. The hour of reckoning is nigh, for a formidable host of Dunlending tribesmen journeys forth, intent on laying siege to our beloved city of Austin Ethel. Little do they comprehend the tempest that awaits them. With the vanquishment of the goblins of Zarkala, seasoned and valorous elven and dwarven warriors stand resolute, their hearts aflame with purpose. Hail to thee, Yaktak the Bloody, last chieftain of the Dunlendings, for thou shalt bear witness to their final lamentable fate. Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to our Noldor of Region campaign in Third Age Total War, Divide and Conquer. I have been particularly looking forward to this episode because I do believe in this episode we will have our first proper big scale battle. Maybe even more than one. The last few episodes we've just kind of been exiting the early game of the campaign which is my favourite part. But I guess my second favorite part is the beginning of the mid game, when you're starting to face some bigger armies, some, you know, more important battles. Battles where victory or death really make a huge difference. With the big Dunland army at our doorstep, it is quite important that we get rid of them. Kill them quickly, get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy, and then open the road towards both Byrick and Dunlarak, taking two very important settlements of Dunland. And, uh, while making our empire even bigger. On the other side, the war against Enedwyth is proceeding pretty decent. It seems Enedwyth has really underestimated us, and I do mean really, really, uh, because everything so far has been, well, kind of a cakewalk. Uh, we're kind of running, of course, again on the limit of uh, our recruitment. Desperately need more troops, but I think we will have enough juice to push all the way towards the... Oh, God, what is this? The Swan Fleet, I believe the river is called. Uh, I forgot the... Uh, the proper name for it. The Swan Fleet, let's call it that. Um, but yeah, besides that, nothing too crazy to report. As always, waiting for us to be able to train more troops, but alas, we'll have to wait a wee bit longer. But of course, as our territory grows, that will become easier and easier. So I think I did everything at the end of the last episode in my turn, so I think I can press the end turn and possibly, possibly get attacked. We do have the largest of the army is the garrison. The banners look a bit confusing and there's a small reinforcement stack uh, with some dwarves of course ready to join us. So I don't think this will be a problem. I do hope they attack me right away. I don't want to wait too long because my troops will starve. Okay, my spy took a long time to walk. <laughs> Thank you all for your very kind words and lots of likes and comments on the previous video. Miss Izzy and I had a lovely time reading through all your comments, especially, well, me at least, especially those recommending her to watch The Clone Wars, which, thank you for that. It might convince her still. Come on, Dunland. Ah, you prick. He's also bolstering up the other army, I see. Well, that's a little bit annoying, and... I don't know, it makes me think... As much as I would want to... Oh, they only have two settlements left. Karas Nernlet and then this one here. I spotted that real quick. Huh, that's interesting. So I'm actually quite close to getting rid of Enedwyth in this entire territory. And that will buy me so much room, so much peace of mind as well. Yeah, they still have Londire, but I can they cross here? Oh, they can. Oh, it's the Suduri crossing, of course, of course. Dunland is here as well, and Enedwyth is sending reinforcements. But Karaz Nerlet is looking quite ripe for the taking, so I'm actually going to send my spy over there. Ah, oh, there's barely anyone there. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but with regards to Dunland, see, they're just bringing more forces, so I might just have to sally out and get rid of them like that. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I would have liked to fight defensively at the walls, but, you know, I shouldn't be... Maybe I'll give them one more turn. They needed some time to build a siege equipment, so I'll give them one more turn. If they then don't attack me, I'm going to sally out. 
because I don't want my troops to die of starvation. That's just silly. Korbelishar got the Eregion Kazan. That's perfect. I'll gladly get... I think I'll get the Riders first. It's a shame because those take like five turns to get, but yeah. And I will get an extra spy over here. So, I want to send over some troops from Bregos to take Karas Nernalet. If I send in all these guys, will they succeed? I think they should be able to. It's a shame that I can't bring Kiriatan, but then the people will not be happy. So, yeah, nah. I do think I can bring in the rest of the men. Yeah, that's not a problem in terms of happiness. But I will quickly move Kiriatan out down south. Make sure we have enough movement range to plop down a very important watchtower. I'll also, if I can, quickly border hop. Damn it. Wanted to make sure that we're not any mercenaries ready for uh, getting hired. Okay. And that would be Karas Nermalad. 100% I'll take that. Good, 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 good. Alright. Um, let's see. Do I have a mission? Because I keep forgetting about missions if I do have them. Block, I don't even have a fleet, so blocking the port of Saduri would be quite difficult. Alright, Spy, you're chilling over there. I will put you a bit closer. Yes, my lord. You, mm, let's bring you back. See who you can talk to. Yes, my and you, I want you to move, yes. gosh, maybe towards the Dunedain? Although we're already out now, we're not allied to the Dunedain. Perhaps an alliance would be beneficial. I do not oh. believe. Until we meet again. In AGO, the AI does not like to make alliances. So, as frustrating as that is, do not hate me, I wonder why. Isengard is at war with everyone, including me. Okay. I mean, it was bound to happen, but I guess the uh, betrayal of Saruman is now fact. I also don't know what this guy is doing, but I like it. <laughs> you go on that crusade, mate. You go get him, Tiger. Gosh. I don't know. Do I wait? Alright, one more turn, I swear, promise. That's the final turn of waiting. If they don't attack me, then... Then... Well, you know what time it is. Um, okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do, right? I know I just keep zooming around looking for troops to train, but there's no one. Not a single one. Oh, uh, Frustrating. Come on, Donland. Attack me. I want you to. Have I done a defensive siege battle in this campaign? I don't think so. I think I've always sallied out in case I got attacked, so... That is that. I uh, hope you're all doing well. I mean, for those who've been watching the news, Belgium had a pretty... Uh, I live in Belgium, for those who don't know, but I assume most people know at this point. Belgium had a bit of a rough day yesterday, so... That was fun. Really wasn't, but... I don't know. I guess that's just the fact of life at this point. Was Giliath under attack? Okay, well, if they're just gonna, like, stand still, group up like the absolute pricks that they are, then I will sally out and kick your ass, because I've already lost too many troops by starvation. I should have probably attacked them last turn already, but hey. Live and let learn. Alright, save. The full might of the Noldor are marching out. I love how we are, like, outnumbered drastically, but still the balance of power is in my favor. I'm honestly surprised they're still attacking me. So, let's sally out, get rid of them, get rid of Artagan, and then just push. That seems like a great plan. Okay, I'll see you on the... battle map. Alright. The beautiful city of Austin Ethel. It would have been so nice to defend here, but alas. Uh, well, let's just start the fight and then move everyone out. I'm not going to wait for the reinforcements. There's no need. I mean, it's mostly going to be... Myrnil and Ecthelion that will steal the show. And if you've been watching the campaign closely, you know exactly how we're going to do this. We're going to get rid of the captain, and then the rest, they're going to scurry off, they're going to run away. The only downside of that is they're so close to the red retreat line, that it's going to be hard to catch them. Alright, let's set up in a bit of a, you know, smart position. Get the archers in the front. Infantry behind. Uh, I guess the scraps I'll leave behind because I want to get them retrained at some point. And then Ecthelion and my Amanyar riders. 
and Stormguard are going to be leading the pack, obviously. Now, I don't have to worry about the timer, but I do want to not waste too much time. Because I want to achieve quite a lot in this episode. Okay. As much as I would like to do this with just Ecthelion and Myrnil, I'm afraid that might be a bit too optimistic. <laughs> then again, looking at Ecthelion with 61 Eregion Heavy Knights, that does fill the heart with joy. Okay, might as well send them in, you never know how long this battle will last. Alright, Stormguard, fire away. Okay, they're moving in their troops. Who is your captain? Is it the horses? No, it's this guy here. That is. Look at this, he even brought out his fresh face paint. Very nice. Alright, Ecthelion, Riders. There's work to be done. Clan Folk Hunters. Yeah, the clans of Dunland. Cool faction. Looking forward to playing as them, but right now they are my sworn enemy and they are going down in droves, yeah. Yeah, you get that throng formation, see how that works out for you, buddy. Right, time to behead the snake. Or oh, the Raven, I guess, in this case. But yeah, the remade Dunland Ross. Like, Dunland used to be like one of the blandest fights. It was just brown and they were all just kind of sword and board units. Really nothing special. Like, just kind of like these guys. That was pretty much the Dunland roster. But now there's so much more variety and, and coolness. The names are also much cooler. Dunforgoyle marches. Like, that just. I have no idea what a Dunforgoyle is. Nor what a marcher is. But it sounds cool. Wolfinger. Oh, Wolfinger. That's an awesome name as well. Alright, boys. Let's group up a little bit closer. Don't be shy. Ecthelion. Move your regiment. We are going to hit them hard. Do I give the food keepers? I can barely speak. A uh, taste of what's to come? No, not yet. We want to have the full brunt of the Aragon Heavy Knights hitting the captain, especially because he's behind a rock, which is a bit annoying. Oh, my note. Our men have slain nice. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. Are they running towards these guys then? I guess I'll bring in the Sons of the Fallen then. I don't want them to charge my guys head on. Alright. Pull back, Ecthelion, I forgot to pull you back. No, that's annoying. Actually, it isn't, because they got absolutely hammered. And they can barely charge my guys. Catch them. Oh, I need to pay much better attention. Battle's starting to break loose. Okay, guys, 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 regroup. Oh no, oh crap. I screwed up. Oh no, I'm on your, please. Nice, they already broke. See, you can tell I'm rusty in terms of bigger battles. I'm so used to doing these small scale battles, which they are very important, but it's much easier to keep track of everything that's going on. Now I need to get I need to get my game face on, you know? It's quite crucial. I make sure we run them down. It seems once again I have overestimated my enemy, because I should have just tallied out a while ago and things would have been so much easier already. The next time I need to give a little bit more credit though, because they have an actual general instead of just whatever captain they could scrounge up whoever volunteered to die first. I guess I'll be captain. The average lifespan of a captain in the lending army is about 10 minutes. So, yeah, I can understand the hesitation. Ram them! Good. I'm surprised they haven't broken yet. These guys got the message though. Oh, Yamanya showed up. Okay, try to run them down as much as we can. Uh, 
Uh, that's a big battalion of troops getting out of that, which I really don't like to see. Okay, boys, keep fighting, keep fighting. Guess I should get my infantry in now. Can't do everything with just the generals. Amanyar, pull out. I've been wasting my Amanyar a little bit. My bad, my bad. Okay, flank them. Very nice. 2-2 two, two to Horn for good luck. Oh, my Amanyar got stuck. Oh, really bad play, is he? I needed those Amanyar. I needed those guys. The enemy are badly uh, uh, uh. They have lost half Even the guys I'm not charging head first are breaking because I'm just like near. Which is a pretty cool. Oh, no, no, no. If you're out of ammo, then you're done for now, boys. It's fine, it's fine. You did everything you had to do. You can run down these guys because they're running in your direction. Okay, guys, keep up the good stuff. Help is on the way. I know I should be scared charging them head on because they're pikes, but I'm really not actually. I'm a little bit surprised they're not breaking just yet. I thought their morale was much worse than they let on. Okay. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Maybe assist on that side. 9% for 65. So this is good, but again, I need to be careful with my troops because I need to get a lot more mileage out of them. But I think I got a big route going, which should spell the end of the fight. My 12th Amanya, I'm not sure what they're doing over there, but, but having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. Come on, boys. Big blobby route. And a poopy charge on my end. Surround them. And I'm on your, do what you do best, run down the enemy. How are these guys not breaking though? For some reason the, the war spear throng always sticks around the longest, even though I always thought they were like the worst of the worst in terms of morale. Maybe they just so bad they become good. Does that make sense? In this context, I don't think it does. Okay, and now... Oh, these don't forget much. Stopped routing. Killed some of my Amanyar. Is it over? No, who's still... Ah, the War Spear Throng. Of course it's the War It's always the War Spear Throng. Okay, and the done for good marches. Always, always, always. Okay. If those guys want to have a go, I'll happily take them. Why are they not breaking? Morale works very odd sometimes. Ah, there we have it. Battle is over. That was a good one. Would have been more fun as a defensive siege battle, but well, waiting is for losers, and we are not losers. All right. I mean, it's more than I would like, but considering how big the army is that we killed, it's not that bad. We healed our Lindar that perished, so that's good. Lost too many of my, uh, what are they, my riders. 32, healed 7. Not worth it, though. They're now maxed experience, though, so if I can retrain them, they'll be quite powerful, but that's an if, unfortunately. Alright, see you on the campaign map. Alright, that's a lot of money, but I don't need it. I'd rather see them dead for good. Alright, my boys. Time to uh, abandon Austin Ethel. Uh, let's see, I'll leave behind some of the... more perished... Ah, because I can get them retrained. And them. So the ones that are getting retraining, they can stay. Except you guys. I'd rather wait for other troops to retrain them. So that's the Sons of the Fallen. Although it's the wrong it's the wrong unit. It's the seven that needs retraining. 
Ah, scratch that. We'll just move out. Leave behind the really battered guys, because I'd like to see them retrained. Uh, oh, gosh. Let's bring them along for now. Artagon. Artagon, Artagon. So he's got a general, but besides that, the army's looking even worse than the other one. It's a shame they picked up some mercenaries. I would like to pick them up myself. Let's see here. Bayrig is empty. It's just Yaktak, faction leader of Dunland. Quite important to kill him. And Dunlarak is looking hmm, relatively weak. Just mostly the garrison. So that's good. That's good. The uh, annoying the Dunedain, by all means. All right, let's say siege to Karaz Nurnalad. Edwith is coming over, so they might try something. I will constantly check for mercenaries, but alas. If I follow the route. Do I have enough movement range to plop down a very useful watchtower? I think I do. Yeah, let's not take any risk. So I got pretty good vision now. Though I could do with some extra vision in the north here. Ooh, that was close. And is that a mercenary I see? Oh, yes! You have no idea how happy I am to see them. Oh, that's Frodo as well! Look at that. <laughs> Just happy reunions all around. So if this guy comes over, he'll have to face the might of my pikemen, which I will send to Dolvon afterwards and then free up the Lindar Guard. Take Karaz now on the lead. Move a little bit closer to uniting our realms. And then we'll take Suduri afterwards as well. It's a real shame that I'm fighting both Dunland and Edwith at the same time, but it is what it is. Alright. This is going to be a bit scarier of a fight. But if I wipe them out, I don't see Dunland bouncing back from that anytime soon. Those are two big armies they lose. Plus a general. Losing a general is always a big deal. Pretty poopy army all around. Uh, the Brehin Oathkeepers, ah, they're not that good against Cav, right? They do have a missile attack, but we should be able to ram them before they... I think they've got like throw axes or something like that. So, I don't know. I think we can kill him, unless he has a massive amount of hit points, but I doubt it. I should be able to shoot the rest and just win, you know. Pretty crappy units all around in terms of morale when the general dies, so. I think I already saved, but I'll do it again, just in case. And then, let us kill some more Dunlendings. Alright, start the deployment. On, uh, in the comment section of the last episode, there was uh, some discussion, because I, I mentioned it briefly, incorrectly, but then I corrected myself, on the death of Feanor. And he perished fighting, well, Gothmog, the lord of all Balrogs, and also a buttload of Balrogs. Like, my man went down, taking down, like, I don't know, five Balrogs with him or something silly like that. He was fighting, like, I don't know, ten Balrogs at the same time, plus Gothmog, the lord of all Balrogs. Like, it's just insane. The power spike of First Age Elves really puts things into perspective. <laughs> And it does kind of make sense why our northern friends here, why they're so damn supremacist. At one point, if you can back up your supremacist behavior with clear, you know, just being superior to everyone, then I think you kind of, you kind of get a pass, you know. You're allowed to be supremacist at that point, because, well, you've earned it. That's kind of the, the point I'd like to reach in the campaign. Ah, uh, you're zoning out my calf. Smart. You're a lot smarter than your captain. The general's running all over the place. So this favors me because, you know, skirmish battles typically tend to favor the elves. I know, it's a surprise, I'm sure. The farmer and pikemen, I think I can get them to route even without the general dying. I don't know where the general, I think he's in here somewhere. Okay, pull back. Okay, uh, time to send in my infantry. It's about time. Do I charge cell swords head on? Hell yeah, we do. I really want to kill their general first, but... Oh, there he is. Okay, we'll kill him in a moment. As I just clean up those cell swords. 
I thought it already broken. <laughs> that went a lot faster than I expected. Your general's still alive, buddy. Did you not get the memo? Okay. As long as my archers can keep fighting. Okay, let's pause for just a second because I'm losing track a little bit. I don't want my guys to run too amok. Like, we want to keep our battle lines, please. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Come on, boys. These guys, they're getting themselves to rout because <laughs> they're running so far away from the rest of their army. Alright, I can squeeze in through there. Come on, squeeze in through there. A bit of a mistake on my part. I don't know where the general is, like, he's just hiding. He also really doesn't stand out. Where the blimey... Is he all the way over here? I literally can't tell, mate. Okay, get them to route. Nice. If I just keep my guys together, then it's so easy to get them to route. Uh, relatively safe. Oh, there he is. Brent's oath band. Okay, we're gonna lock him down now. Don't let him throw his axes. I am against that. I'm actually allergic to throwing axes. Because throwing axes used to be the number one reason that Third Age Total War, even before Divide and Conquer existed, crashed. It was always throwing axes. It'll make a game crash. So still to this day, I am scared of throwing axes crashing the game. But I must admit, Divide and Conquer is incredibly stable. Like, you have no... If you never played OG Third Age back in the day, it crashed all the time. It's quite incredible how stable it is today. Runs even more stable than Vanilla Medieval 2, to be fair. And definitely more stable than Rome or Attila for me. Rome 2, I should say. Rome 1 is pretty stable. Talking about stables, how are my horses doing? Good, good, good. Okay, let's help hunt them down a bit. Spoitamen, Spoitamen. Does whatever a Spoitamen does. I believe a Spoita is actually not the spear, but the shield. Good tidings. The enemy I think those big shields, I think those are Spoitas. Alright, General dead. Took longer than expected, but... Uh, in terms of results, I don't think it matters too much. This was always going to be the harder fight of the two. No big surprise there. But now it ends. Got them surrounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run them down, run them down. Oh yeah, big blob. Look at the casual... Oh, sorry, the prisoner count going up. I mean, the casualty count is going up as well, but unfortunately I don't uh, have access to those statistics right now. That would be cool. That's one thing I do like about more modern Total War games. They do get some things right. Okay, get rid of them. It's over, my buddies, it's over. I hold the metaphorical high ground. They're all routing, so who's still standing then? Ah, Clan Four Hunters. Ah, not anymore! Alright, finish them off then. I need more prisoners. And that should be the road to both Bayrik and Dunlarak wide open. Alright, come on. Trample them underfoot. 100%, 90%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, perfect! Wonderful. So we actually heal and it's down to 8%, so it's less casualties than the previous fight, which is surprising, honestly. But yeah, look at that. Nice result, lots of experience across the board as well, we like to see that. Nice! Oh, uh, execute. Look at him. Just shaking to his death. Alright, let's move like in this direction, because that's kind of both done that I can bite it. We can actually chill in the fort and make some extra money along the way. Although our economy is looking quite good. Bruno's got the armory. I guess we'll get the master builders all for later on once we're ready for expansion. Bregost got the artist studio. Good. Keep the people happy. And also, 
Make the people elvish. Um, I could wait a turn for the reinforcements, but I don't have to. Uh, I don't really have to. Um, then I think that's everything for this turn, right? Just move my diplomats. Your orders. You have uh, I don't want to be allies with. I don't want to be allied with Deal. Impossible. Watch me capture Deal yes. at some point. Huh. You never know. Sometimes campaigns just yes, take a life on their own. Do I want to talk to Mordor? No, I really I don't. That's the thing about us Feanorians. We hate other elves, but we hate Sauron even more. So, there's always a bigger fish. And Sauron, at least in this game, will probably be the big fish. But first, oh, there's so much more we need to achieve in this campaign. We are such a long way from fighting Mordor, like... Literally months, which is both scary and also exciting at the same time. Okay, so Donland is pulling everyone to the front, which is fun, fun, fun times for all. I love to see it. All right. Oh, we got some more vision. They really are just pulling everyone to the front, so they're running out of steam fast. All right, I need to keep an eye on that Enedwai Thami that was lurking about. So, Mr. Spy... Can you tell me where they went, and if they're a threat? Okay, so they're coming over in the direction of Karas Nernalad. Oh, this army is fun. This army is real fun. Ooh. I should probably get Keriatan involved to kill him. He can probably kill him on his own. Huh. I'm just, I'm just thinking here. I could move out, get rid of Seal, Boch. Then maybe move a small, like, really small garrison. One of these guys, for example. Or actually, the pikemen, the pikemen, the pikemen. They will garrison Bregost. We get rid of these guys, take Karas Nandrat, and then we'll still have enough choose to go after Suduri. And then Nadwaith will largely be kicked out of this terrain. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. See, this army is real crap. I really do think Kiryatan could take them all down on his own. Just shooting and trampling. We'll do that in a moment. First, I want to take care of Dunland. Uh, so, Bayrik, 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 Bayrik. I want to take the army and attack Dunlarak or this guy, Frizal. They'll sally out. We'll kill them on top. And I want to use mm, Ecthelion for that. Because open field battle, calf, win-win. Then Bayrik, I want Myrnil to go there. So we're going to split up the army, which is risky. I am aware of it. But I think it's also our best chance of success. So I think the more heavy hitters will join Myrnil. Ah, just these guys will join Ecthelion. I'll send a small cab with him. He'll eat the dwarves. Ecthelion will lead the rest. They siege to Bayrik. Try to get rid of Daktak. And then we'll attack Frizzell. These guys will sally out. They're going to be hard to kill, but not impossible. Mom and Fenders. I don't think that, uh, this guy will join, but he's welcome to. And then we take Dunlarak and Bayrik. Bada bing, bada boom, you know? I should have put him in there first. There was always that 8% chance of him opening the gates. Ah, well. Okay. So. They're selling out. They think they have the upper hand. We're going to give them a rude awakening. It's going to be fun times all around. And should lead to us taking, I think, the wealthiest Dundon settlement. Dundarak. And that will also make Austin Ethel quite a bit safer. It's going to be much further away from the front line. So that's also a relief. Alright. Let's get rid of Frizzail first. And then deal with the rest of them. Rightio. I think for the beginning I want to send in my Linda Guard with Ecthelion. Just to get rid of that Danish Warspear throng without having to charge them head-on. And then we'll see how we fare for the rest of them. I do want to use my archer's ammo pool as much as possible. Okie dokie. Oh, if they're running away, I will charge them. Oh, crap. They weren't exactly running away, but... Oh, come on. Linda guards, please. 
keep these pricks busy. Oh, that was a really bad charge. Come on, mate. Sometimes I feel like the cab just doesn't want to charge. Look at that. What kind of charge was that? That was rubbish. Alright. Let's use the hill advantage. Get Ecthelion in there. The Gainers and Duns are going to be the main problem, but... The rest of the army, I don't think the defenders will have amazing morale, we'll have to see. But look at these guys. They... They almost look like Urukai with the armor they're wearing. Although, of course, from a law standpoint, we have no idea what the bloody hell an Urukai is. We've just received some troubling reports from Isengard, and that's pretty much it. Alright, guys. Let's spread out the cab a little bit. Although, I kind of want to have, at the very least, three full layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah just because there's a bit more of an oomph impact. And I think I'll charge the Eisendrake Tower Sworn head-on. You may fire when ready. Look at these guys. They are proper scary. The Wildman Defenders, not so much. The Eisendrake Tower Sworn, gotta give them some respect. The tree will bother me a little bit. Oh, they're moving past the tree. No, no, no. That would have been a rubbish charge. They're waiting just out of range. Some of them are chasing me. Or they're gonna cut down the tree. It's one or the other. Okay. They're reforming the Guardians. The Guardians of the Galaxy? No. <laughs> just Thundant. <laughs> Not quite the Galaxy, I'm afraid. Alright. See if we can take down the Captain early on. That will make things quite a lot easier. And I do want to take down the Rack without too much bloodshed. Well, bloodshed on my side. Oh, there we have it. Pull out. These guys are pretty skilled against Cav. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there we have it. Gotta give him some respect. But now the morale is gonna be... That's a technical term. They're just chasing the facts once again. Choke close behind. Alright, archers, fire away. You've activated my trap card. I summon Exodia. Alright, boys. Come on, you're in range. At least this guy gets the message. You could all learn a thing or two from that guy. Oh, 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 oh. Are these guys skilled against mounts? They look like they are. Yeah, they are. They're also hacking slow. Okay. I mean, if that's the best you can muster to defend your homeland, your homeland's not really worth defending, I'm afraid. Okay, carry on. Charge them. It's hammer and anvil time, boys. So time to absolutely destroy their morale, I hope. No. Hmm. Surprised. Wouldn't mind shooting the guy as a dunno, but I doubt they'll break. I'm really surprised they didn't break. No, 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 no. Hush, hush. Hush, Mr. Announcer Guy, hush. Have a little faith, even though I'm shooting my own horses. You should still have faith. So I'm about to hit these guys when it hurts. From behind. Alright. Damn, that morale is... They're so close to breaking. Like, it's, it's such a small difference. But it makes a big difference. Really unfortunate. Let's see if we can charge him again. I think my sword masters are struggling. Like, that's a big charge. They don't really seem too impressed by that. Oh, okay, I'm doing my best here, mate. You just kind of shrug it off. See, so they're so close. If they would just break, it would make mm, so much... Ah, oh, my cab is again split up like that. Come on, reform. I wish the horses were a bit faster. Sometimes I just get 
caught by infantry and that's just that doesn't really sit right now we should be able to route the it field keepers here but I've lost a lot more of my infantry than I was hoping I was expecting them to route quicker but I think this will be the one to break them I'm impressed with the defenders morale most of all okay the field keepers are running good getting the first unit to run is crucial Okay, well, I guess we're fighting a melee now. Okay, and the first defender unit also broke. Good. Come on, boys. Big route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be a route. No, no route. Curses. I'm impressed with the Wildman defenders. Never really gave them much thought, but they're actually... The morale is surprisingly good. I really wish I could get defender units, but alas. I mean, I am fighting for literally the most important settlement of Dunland. So, yeah. I guess it's allowed to be a bit difficult. I can't want my sword masters to run away from the guardians. Not until I kill everything else or rout everything else. Keep shooting them, even though my arrows will scarcely hurt them. Route, please. No. Oh, damn it. They got caught. I specifically told you not to get caught. Yeah, I think my Amanyar Swordmasters are dead. It's a real shame. I tried to pull them back, but then those guys... I told them to track those routing guys but then the routing guys turned around I guess I could have seen that coming maybe they'll heal mm, they might route actually didn't expect that if I throw enough elves at them come on at least one of my needs to survive <laughs> they're a dying breed literally come on come on I know I'm shooting them myself but there's more enemies than there are friendly, so I'll take the risk. For now. But now there are more friendlies than enemies. Ah. Okay. Perhaps splitting up the army wasn't the best idea. Perhaps I should have taken... Yeah, I should have taken Dunderak first and then moved to Bayrik. Having Myrnil here would have made the battle much easier and would have lost less guys, but... Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> well, we learned a valuable lesson, I suppose, and we healed some of our troops, but... Again, I desperately need more manpower. Desperately, desperately, desperately. Okay. Bye. Now give me the settlement, please. Thank you. Just gonna waltz in there if you don't mind. And I'll just occupy it. Look at that. Boom. Just like that. Alright, anything I need to destroy that doesn't do anything for me? Apparently the men of Dunland have perfected the Elven Ironcraft. Replenishment of all melee infantry. I'm not sure if that applies to me, but I'll take the risk. And I can get my first ballista. Interesting. Okay, nice. So I'll retrain them just to make them a bit better. And we'll immediately get the Builder's Hall. To speed things up in the long run. The Mayerne will take Bayrig, kill Yaktak. And we will have taken a big chunk out of Dunland. Just like that. I'm also going to move Kiryatan, of course, now to get rid of Captain Sielblach. This battle seems insane, but I think I can actually win it relatively easily. I know there's a lot of them, but... I don't know, it just doesn't seem that hard. They are really the worst of the worst units. And if we get rid of them, then we can take Karas Nurnarat without much issue and possibly look towards Suduri. So once again, we're doing a whole lot with very, very little. Alright. I've used these hose arches to great effect previously, so... The only thing I need to make sure is that they don't get shot. That's literally it. And I think I have ranged their hunters. So just keep moving, get rid of our ammo pool, and then just start charging. They do have a higher ground advantage. And also they have a ballista, which I need to be wary of. I can barely see them. Already killed 
That's actually a lot, considering how big that army was. Can I interest you in moving out of those damn trees? Okay, slowly but surely I'm corralling them out of the trees. 6%, that's massive. Now I have the high ground advantage, Brick. They're not shooting me. They're like trying to get in a position where they don't get absolutely humiliated. So yes, keep moving out of the trees. That's going to work wonders for you. And I'm out of ammo. Time to get real funny. Oh shit. I'm getting shot. Okay. That's the first unit routed. Pull back. Uh, they're kind of chasing me. Is it the unit that routed before and they already came back and then I killed them again? Uh, that's that's the unit? Okay. How many more times are we going to have this, this little dance off? Alright, let's move around a little bit. I really want to lure them out of the trees. The trees are annoying. My calf can't charge as well. I can't see anything. I think they get a bonus fighting in the trees. So it makes sense as an Adwaith, I suppose. Oh, that's a lot of friendly fight. I think you killed more friends than you killed guys of mine. Come on, don't walk. Run. You're literally being shot. That was really bad. I'm also surprised they're not being more aggressive considering they have such a numbers advantage. You really don't. Ah, there we go. That's better. They're actually kind of smart to move in wide formation because it makes it harder for my calf to charge him properly. Alright, I'm getting rid of those hunters quite effectively. Make sure they don't come back. I'm more worried about the hunters than I am about the warriors by a long shot. They're the only ones that can actually, like, damage me. Okay, pull back. Pull back! I told you to pull back! Okay, have I killed most of the clansmen? I th uh, sorry, hunters? Yes, I think so. I think there's only one unit left of them. Clansmen don't like me very much. I know I'm losing, guys, but this first part is the hardest part, because there's damn hunters, and they keep, like, getting backed up by the damn clansmen. It makes sense, but it frustrates me. <laughs> Stop playing smart, AI. Come on, break. Ah. Oh. Alright, is your archery gone? I think so. I think now they're just charging in the infantry. That's good. That means the battle is won. Oh, actually, they still got some hunters here. Oh, that's annoying. Can you, like, be gone? You're all over the place and I can't fight you properly because of it. Come on, pull back. I'm telling you to pull back. Okay, they're chasing me. That's perfect. Oh, the ballista. <laughs> completely forgot about the ballista. Is that the captain? No, it's not. Unfortunately not. I love how hard we penetrated their ranks. Oh, that was bad. Why did you go back in there? You can tell, like, the worst charges are the ones where the, infant or the cavalry, sorry, just doesn't listen to me. Like where they just run back in again, even though I told them to charge and move out. Come on. The morale is surprisingly sturdy. That was a poopy charge. Okay, charge him again. Oh, these guys are so powerful. Which one is the general? I think it's this. Oh, the one with the most guys? Yep, 214. That's the general. God damn it. <laughs> of course. Should I just get rid of the ballista real quick? It'll give me some peace of mind. Look at them. Although I could trick them to maybe do some friendly fire. What the hell were you firing at me? I don't want to risk it. 
Watch them snipe Kiryatan. I'd be very pissed. Yeah, that's one less unit for them to hide behind. Should help with the morale. Ooh, that was a good charge. They were in very bad position. And that unit's gone. That's number one out of three, I believe. Yeah. I'd love to get rid of those 25 and then the 50. I know I'm killing the captain last that way, but... For a morale standpoint, it's best to kill off individual units first. Ah, there we go. These guys are offering themselves up. No, no, they suddenly started running in a different direction. Sometimes the AI just doesn't want to die. Yeah, sometimes they're not completely suicidal. I know, right? Ooh, that was a bad... Oh, there we go. I thought it was a really bad charge and it was the one that won me the battle. Just like that, we cleaned up an entire Enidwaitherim, albeit a very poopy one. But an entire Enidwaitherim army. With just Kiryatan. I was a little bit scared at one point, because I thought maybe I wouldn't have enough guys to finish it up, but I... You know, plenty of room to spare. There we go, there we go. Look at that. That's going to boost the numbers a bit. Kill death ratio, that's going to look much, 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 much better. Okie doke, goodbye. So much for the Karasna Amulet relief effort. Well, now that I'm here, might as well go down here and plop down an extra watchtower or two. As I make my way back to Bregost. We might get attacked, I hope so. Alright, but then hopefully you can go into Bregost and Kiryatan can move right up to Suduri. Alright, Eregion, Kazan, and Osten, Nolor. Wonderful. I am beyond happy to see that. So, I guess we'll get... Um, I want the settlement to grow. So, I guess an art gallery? Does that give me growth? My latest tier? No. What gives me the most growth then? I guess farms, because they give food. I can also build in Austin Ether. I probably could last turn as well, I forgot. Get the Builder's Guild House, Under Towers. Ah, oh, might as well. I have money. Kor Vilishar. What do I want to build there? I guess Master Builder's Halls everywhere. That's quite good. Is there any corruption here? 33. Let's root that out. Might as well. Unlike in regular DAC, militia buildings don't cost you 100 gold per turn anyway, so... There's less of a, you know, weighing of interests that you need to do. It is usually going to give you a benefit. Okay, getting an extra general there, perfect. No recruitment to be done, no. An extra spy, I'll take him. I should also have an extra spy at Dolvon. So I'll move him towards Bregost to help upgrade the culture. 6% ain't nothing to write home about. And then I think I have everything I need to do, right? Dondrak might get attacked, that's fine, we can defend it. Bayrik will be taken by High Prince Myrnil in the next turn, unless they sally out, they might. And I guess I can already have my spy pushing on, like, where will I expand to next? Because I want to get rid of Dunland. As quickly as possible, but that will make me border Isengard as well, which is also not very preferable. Is that a path here? No. So if they want to go to Bayrig, they'll always have to go through the Donlorak lands. That's good to know. Alright, press the end turn. And I forgot to move my diplomat. It's fine, it's fine. It seems Rohan has taken uh, Amon Hen. That's interesting. It's not often that falls in the hands of Rohan. Mostly it's Tolguldur, sometimes Lothlorien. If you're playing as Rohan, it's not always a good settlement to take. Okay, so Yaktak, in a moment of sheer stupidity, brought in reinforcements, but they were actually too far. They couldn't get closer. But Yaktak was like, screw it, guys. We're going out with a bang anyway. Might as well. So the chieftain of Dunland himself, Yaktak the Bloody, and his guardians of Dunland, who we have fought before, is moving out against High Prince Myrnil. The numbers are roughly equal, but actually, I think that might be the first time ever where we have more troops than the enemy. Uh, but... I don't think this is going to be pretty, guys. I think this is going to be an absolute slaughter. So, Yaktag, by all means, from one top-tier commander to another. Let's go, baby. 
Okie doke. We're gonna make him Yuxak the even bloodier. Oh, so he's selling out from that. Oh, that's our poopy settlement. Alright, my note. Get involved right away. Squires move to the side. And just <laughs> go ham. We're not time of piercing, so. But we do have enough attack to just obliterate them anyway. Those massive shields are a bit of a nuisance, but. Oh, it seems Yaktak wants to chase the horses. I guess he's used to fighting Rohan, so he's like, must kill the horses. Kill horses, win battle. No, Yaktak, that's not how it works. You're fighting against elves. It's kill archers, win battle. He just went on a wild loop, and then he returns, and his entire army is gone, <laughs> except for his retinue. He's like, oh god damn it. He's like, okay, maybe we should go back inside. No, you don't get to. I'm just gonna get everyone to help, might as well. You know what to do. I'm on your charge! Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Look at that. Oof. I think. This is Yaktak now. Oh, he's getting. He's getting clobbered. Oh, yeah, just like the first stage, boys. <laughs> There are no Balrogs, alright, but they'll have to suffice. I think that's Yaktak here. Seeing as he's getting clobbered like that, he's still alive. In come the dwarves. The big ol' W. There goes Yaktak! Seems he was bloody after all. Nice! And that's Bayrik in our possession. As we kill the last of his retinue. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Yep. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I could have used Myron in the previous fight, I suppose. Well, the one before that. Is it done? Ah, we go. <sighs> nice. So we lost six of Yar. Worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Okay. I think that's another one I want to occupy, because these settlements are actually fairly wealthy. <gasps> oh no, not the empty fort! Bastards. I'll never recover from this. Ah, that's more like it. Don't worry, I'll send Myrnil to help. This is our last stand, my friends. I really should try to get an alliance with the men of uh, the Dunedain, because I can't fight another war. Even with Austin Etho raking in 5,000 gold coins a pop. History Guild in Byrick. Art, music, and town halls. Yeah. I'll do a toggle fog of war, because that went by way too fast. Writing in Bregos. Yeah, 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 don't worry. Is that enough? No. Well, not too fast, because Kiryatan's on the way. More and advice him are coming over, that's okay. I will just starve out Karas now and that. Like that's just gonna make life easier on me. Reinforcements are on the way, so might as well. Um Okay, someone besieged, alright. And Edwith and Khand are allies. What? Okay. Hazadoom and the Range of the North. Um, extra spy at Brunost. Oh I got two spies here. Whoops. My culture will be amazing. Yeah, 68%. Do I need culture in on a rod still? Yeah, I do. So I'll plop one of the spies in there. They're even twins, look at that. And then you can go help out in the south. Um, so Bayrik, I really don't want to waste too much manpower in there. So I know I probably should have like got rid of them or whatever, not occupy. But I think I'll go on a plunder with... Myrnil, take down Ninian and then go towards Scottaith. So we can push there. I guess I I need to keep pushing against Dolnant, as annoying as that is. Because otherwise they're going to keep being annoying. But then that does bring me closer and closer to Isengard, and I'd love to consolidate well, all this first. Dolnant and Enidwyth, the actual territories. Um, Mr. Spy... I can't bring you out now. But you, can you show me what is in that one region that I always forget the name of? Kaladir, in Argond. 
It's not impossible. Oh, there's barely a garrison there. I can take that very easily. And then I think it's straight up to Tharbad. So if I could buy Tharbad, I think I might be able to buy Tharbad. Oh god, are you kidding me? Why are you here? We don't border that territory at all. Are you going to actually be annoying and try and take Ostinitho? Don't do that. I can actually retrain my soul swords. That's handy. But I'm going to need more and more troops. An extra spy? I don't really need an extra spy right now. I have plenty. Alright. What if I just take these guys? Can the others keep the peace? No. I know I should be rounding off this episode, but we'll do one more battle. More guardians are done then. Damn it, where do they keep coming from? Alright, let's save and get rid of them. Evil must not be allowed to triumph this day. Surprised they have so many guns redundant. I assume that's just the starting units, because I can't imagine them training those guys yet. So if we could just shoot them and route the rest, that would also be quite helpful. I'm not going to shoot the guns redundant because they're just too hard to kill like that. But I'll happily thin the Brehen sword wielders. Get the cav involved. Okay, keep shooting, keep shooting. Oh yes, yes, chase the pretty horses. Give my archers more time. Absolute donuts. Okay. That's the captain right there. The storm guard are completely surrounded. Victory seems certain. Okay. Charge them and then have the Wrath of the Feanorians ready to go, now... And gone, route. That's their captain, I assume, yeah? Good. Is that not that captain? Oh, that isn't that captain. I got bamboozled-oozled. That's fine. Only half the enemy force remains! Battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From oh, we're actually whooping the Guardians, but just in straight up melee. Damn, I know you're an absolute beast. You could probably solo the entire Dunland faction. Yeah, if you're playing the Northern of Aegon, you really need to abuse your generals. There's no going around it. I don't think you can beat this campaign without really using your generals to the max. Oh, where are you running off to, mate? You abandon your captain? No, that's not your captain. They're just kind of running in the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, shoot them. <laughs> uh, the guys are done and they're dead. Good the I shot your general. <laughs> wow, what a mess. I guess that's why they call it bye bye rig. Bye bye, Rig. Okay. Yeah, see you on the other side. I really don't know what that was all about, but hey, easy kill. Yes, it was. Stay in the trees. Boom. Alright, let's see about keeping the peace in Bayrig. That's gonna be priority number one. Uh, oh, peace is awful. Why is it so bad? Unrest, civil unrest. Distance to capital. Oh. Yeah, plenty of people have actually been asking me to change my capital back again. And maybe I should. Like. Because now I'm capturing a lot of territory here. So maybe Austin Ethel is better off as the capital again. We'll see. I'll make it my capital. And we'll see how that impacts the public order. Well, in Bayrick, it's less trashy. If I leave behind. I'll leave behind the. Nah. The dwarfs, I guess. 65 still. <sighs> Come, my brothers. I will only right, I'll leave behind the riders as well. Onward. No, not good enough. Uh, I need to park you right here. Onward. We'll attack and then these guys will help. Um, so Austin Ethel, just make sure that all my other summons are still happy. But I guess is fine, Olvorn is fine, Corvillishard is fine, Austin Oller is fine, on the tower is fine, okay. And I am, I think, raking in more money because of it, so that's all dandy. This guy better really not attack me, like, I don't understand what he's doing here. 
we don't border that land at all, so... Hmm. I really, really, really want to keep playing, but alas, I must quit for now. Um, so I'm actually really interested in possibly buying Tharbad off the Dunedain for the right price. I do have a lot of money. Uh, I'll wait a little bit longer, but once I take Argon, because then my entire realm would be nicely connected, and then Kiryatan can help in the war against Enidwaith. Uh, the main problem right now is not just having troops on the field, because I can do a lot with my, just my generals, but having just garrisons, people to go inside the settlements after I take them. I'm so low on, like, every kind of troop. It's quite frustrating, and there's no mercenaries whatsoever to be found. So, yeah, it's a little frustrating, but, hey... Eh? Uh, for now, I'm just using spies to bolster up the culture in the hopes that that will make the people sufficiently happy. Yes, my but so far, not yes, so good. As you wish. I yes. think, however, before we round off, I will buy my Lord. Dunedain loyalty. Because I really don't want to go to war with them. Like, that would just be annoying. So what if I throw 5k your way? Generous, you should accept this. I there accept we go. This deal that at least makes that front a bit safer. And I guess I should have done that with Enidwaith earlier, but, eh, well. Once we beat Enidwaith back, it's going to be quite worth it in the long run to have all those lands to ourselves. Okay, that's going to be all for this episode. I do need to remember to do this fight at the beginning of the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one just as much as I am. Bye-bye, guys.